everybody, this is Austin with Austin Lindsay Photography. Today I thought I'd show you how to make this uh, cool fire and ice uh, type photo composite. So we started out with the model. Um, there are actually two images. Let me turn off these effects here. Uh, there are two images and I just, you know, like the way I thought that she could look at each herself and kind of just give her a evil stare. So I uh, took this one and I flipped it and then um, cut her out on both of them. So, and I just went in and used the pen tool. Um, you probably, some of you probably already know how it works. You just kind of go along the edges. I can show you real fast. You just kind of make a bezier handle. I won't do this really amazing, but you just kind of go along and cut out all the edges. So let's go back here. Um, and then I, I got a, fire background and I did the same thing with uh, the edges on here. Uh, actually on this one I just cut out a little bit of it because I didn't want it to go over uh, the elbow here and it's going to be on a black background so it didn't matter too much. And then uh, the fire was actually over the ice one so this one I didn't have to go, I didn't have to worry too much about cutting it out very sharply. I just have uh, some water brushes. Let's see if these will pull up. Um, so just along the bottom here, I uh, just use a couple of these water brushes and use the edge of it. I won't show you on this one because it'll slow the computer down when you have to render the brushes. Um, but you just use the edge of it and you can see kind of right along in here, this is actually the edge of uh, the water brush and not the actual water layer. So I put those two on top of each other. And then I found a picture of steam online and I just kind of just put that over so it kind of blends the two together a little bit. And then I used a few steam brushes that I have the same way that I did the uh, cutting out the edge of the ice layer. And we can actually show you one of these things. Okay, let's do this. I'll turn this one on. We'll turn these off. And you can kind of see, I think uh, they're actually just, these are cloud brushes. And then, I guess they're both the same layer. Uh, cloud brushes, and then over here, I think are kind of like a fire smoky brush as well. And those, here, let's, those look like, let's see where they're at. Those look like these right down here. Um, for the actual steam, I use this brush number 938, and I think I use 977 and 1956, kind of a combination of all three of them just to get a different uh, look to it. So I'll turn these guys back on. So when you put them all together, it looks, you know, looks pretty decent. This one I didn't, I didn't mask out the whole uh, image all the way, but that's okay. Let's pull that guy back. Um, and then I used just some layers. I just made a new layer, put it on overlay, and then I filled it with 50% gray, which you can, uh, I don't think I have this showing on the screen, but if you go to layer, where is it? I use shift F5 for the uh, keyboard shortcut. Oh, I can't even remember where it is. Um, shift F5 is the keyboard shortcut and it fills the, uh, it'll bring up this dialog box and I just put 50% gray and you push okay. I'm not going to here. And then I, I did that just cause I wanted to use the, uh, the layer style effects. I mean, you, you could just, and I, I, let me show you, cancel out of that. Basically, I don't know if you'll see this very well. Yeah, not very well. On this side, there's a slight orange tint to it. Um, oh, there you go. So this side, there's a slight orange tint. The other side, there's a slight blue tint. Uh, let's turn these guys back on. And uh, that just kind of adds a little bit of color pop to it. But I use the uh, layer styles. You just double click on the layer here. And I did a gradient overlay, uh, set it on orange with the uh, opacity zero on the other end. And I just turned the angle to start from the left side. Let me show you a little preview right here. And I did the same basic effect on the ice layer. 
with a blue effect or blue color coming from the right side. I just think that adds a little pop to it. So then I put the uh, model back in here and I did the same thing on the effects here. If you can see right there on the uh, fire side, uh, effects will come back in, there we go. Um, I used the gradient overlay, same thing, same color uh, on soft light and started it from the left. And then I used on inner shadow to get this little effect around here on inner shadow, um, I just selected kind of an orangey color, set it to linear dodge add, and then you know pulled the size up and the distance up a little bit. So you get this kind of glow effect around the edge of the arm and the head. And so the same thing here with uh, this other side. Um, this one's color dodge instead of linear dodge add because I liked the uh, the look it wasn't so bright. You can actually probably see it's just very slight. I don't know if you can see it on your uh, monitor. This is going to be in 1080, but and then same thing here. Um, the uh, blue color coming from the right side. Oh, that's why you can't see it. Turn the actual effect on. So you can see just right around here on her, on her arm, there's a little bit of a glow from the ice, if you will. And then I put a little bit of a just orange color right here, just to kind of add some realism, kind of some color coming around her. Same thing on the other side, kind of cool her off there. And then I put a little bit more steam just over the whole top of the layer, just to kind of blend the two uh, two images, the ice and the uh, fire image together. You couldn't really see the seam so well. So that's basically in a nutshell how I've done this. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comments field. And thanks you guys for watching.